Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. For the past few weeks I'm testing this huge Delta style 3D printer. This is a Tivo Little Monster and I gotta say it's a very nice machine, but after this video this Delta will transform from nice to impressive machine. Before I make my final review of it I decided to make this video to help the owners and the people who is interested into this printer how to achieve much better print quality and get rid of salmon skin artifact using TL smoothers and golden ratio layer height. So uh, let's begin. Now this is some of my test prints printed in the golden ratio layer height and indeed these all look very impressive. But if you look carefully on the printing surface especially on the back of the owl you will see that salmon skin artifact is very present which is mostly delta style 3D printed affected. Some more and some less. Now that summer skin artifact is actually signal noise coming from the stepper drivers which make stepper motors not to turn smoothly and that tension and vibration is then transferred to the print surface. You can even feel that vibration especially if you print something with a low speed simply by placing your hand on the arms of the printer. Now for the manage that noisy signal for the stepper drivers without changing any parts of the machine you have to do two things. First install teal smoothers, two on every stepper model to be exact and the second use golden ratio layer height when printing. But first what is the teal smoother? This is a teal smoother. It's a simple small board with a few diodes on it which practically works like a filter. Those diodes block and smooth that noise in the signal and by doing that stepper models will turn more precise with a less electrostatic noise, tension and heat. Installing teal smoothers is very simple just move the wires out and match them in a connector like you're making extender cables for the stepper motors. Keep in mind for the best result you will need 8 of these small boards, 2 on every stepper motor and 2 even on the extruder. Don't worry, they are pretty cheap. When you match all the wires, don't forget to put transparent heat shrink over the boards to protect them. Then just connect 2 TL smoothers on every stepper motor like this. TL smoothers does not have any polarity so you just match the colors on the wires and you're good to go. Then use the heat gun, hair driver or reflow station on the heat shrink like this. Heat will shrink those heat shrinks and you are ready to go. Now for the placing TL smoothers there is a plenty of space under the closure so just place them around the motherboard like this. Now these diodes like to warm up a bit so Cut the cable from the cooling fan from the board and connect the fan to the main 24 volt input. This will make the cooling fan work all the time when the printer is on. And it's done. And now it's time for the test prints. I tested quite a few objects in a different layer heights with and without the TL smoothers and here are the results. For the highest possible print quality, layer height is 0.0809 mm. Printing in this resolution using the TL smoothers, layers are almost invisible. For lower quality print, layer height is 0.3236 mm. And for the high print quality, layer height is 0.1618 mm. So those three layer heights are the golden ratio layer heights for the Tivo Little Monster. So now we know. I mostly use 0.1618 mm for detailed prints and 0.3236 mm for the large prints and vases. Now I print 3D Benji with TL smoothers and 0.1618 layer height. I also noticed that if you rotate the prints on the glass like this, you will get even better results. And now look at these results. Nice. Now this is a great quality. Salmon skin, it's almost no visible, surface is smooth. This is a very nice result considering that I'm using the cheapest possible filament for these test prints. Now for the comparison of the 3D Benji, here is a series of photos printed in the golden ratio with and without TL smoothers. The difference is huge.
And now for the final comparison, I decided to print this amazing 3D model called Sorceress Luby 3D. Wow, this print looks amazing. Look at these layers and the details, it's a very impressive print. She is a beauty. Even printing with very cheap PLA filament, this print looks amazing. I can only imagine printing this beautiful model in some premium PLA filament. Here is a comparison photos in a Sorceress Luby 3D with and without TL smoothers. I use the same print settings, same temperature, print speed and etc. Now look at the difference in the print quality. It's huge. Using the steel smoothers and the golden ratio layer height, this printer can give very impressive results. I take quite a few comparing photos from every angle to give you guys a perspective of how huge difference is and what kind of quality you can expect from this setup and if you decide to install the teal smoothers and use the gold ratio layer height when printing on Tivo Little Monster. Now these teal smoothers may work or may not work on other stepper drivers as well but I cannot guarantee it on exactly which model, maybe someone in the comments will leave that information. Price for these steel smoothers is a 9 US dollars for the 4 pieces and you're gonna need 8 total pieces for this setup. So that's 18 dollars investment for this kind of print quality. Definitely worth it. Personally, I think these steel smoothers should be included in the package by default. They are cheap, easy to install and they are giving little monster quality that deserves. And these 3 golden ratio layer height should be added in the print manual too. Well guys, that was it. I hope that you like my video about the quality improvements on the TiVo Little Monster. If so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you like and check my other videos about the 3D printers upgrades and the reviews. If you like it to order these TL smoothers or if you wish to order this 3D printer instead, please have a look in the links in the video description. Till next time, take care and happy printing. Bye bye.